Hey, what's the crack? So today in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to use the remove point vex function to filter out the points in a point cloud or a fluid simulation. I'm Kev Ryan. This is the final vex code. And here we go. So we're going to start with a trusty pig head. There he is. He's looking great. And I'm just going to throw down a point wrangle. And we'll connect this up to the first input. So I'm just going to type in right away, remove point, open brackets, zero, which is our geometry handle. That zero refers to the first input here, which is where our pig head is plugged in, at ptnum, which is all of our pt numbers, and the semicolon. And this will delete the entire pig. That's not really the power of this thing. What we want to do is throw this into an if statement. So if random at pt number, which gives us a number between zero and one on every single point. And let's say if that's less than 0.5. So what that's done for us is deleted half of our pig. But what we could do here instead is to put in a channel. So we'll put in a chf, which is channel float, open close brackets, put in two quotation marks and give this a name. So I'm gonna call this filter. Now, this won't do anything right away, but if we click this input, that will give us a filter down here with this name, and we can actually use this to interactively start clipping away our points. So that's our pig head. The real power of this comes in when we use this on something like a fluid sim. So I have a fluid sim here. It's very simple. However, if we put on our point filler that we created earlier, and we can actually start to clip away points within this fluid sim. Probably a good idea to set this to be ID if you have an ID attribute, but if not, then don't worry about it. So this becomes super useful if we want to start instancing things onto points within our fluid. So we could go ahead and mesh the rest of this fluid sim and let it play out. But then we could also say copy to points and just start throwing stuff onto here. And now we have a bunch of spheres that follow the movement of our fluid sim. And why stop there? Also, if you have a particle sim that runs on for too long, you could use the remove point and compare the age attribute to your own custom life attribute, which would give you something like this. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful. Now go on, sure. I'll talk to you later, alright? Mind yourself.